Hi, I'm Stuart and welcome to Sarnet Television. We had a lot of success with our last piece of video involving some tow truck equipment. And today we're going to take a look at a different vehicle. The last one was a flatbed truck. This is a tow truck or a wrecker in the more conventional sense of the word. This particular vehicle has been set up with a gamut of lighting. Uh, by Anderson Towing, which is a local company here in Oregon. A great company it is, and many thanks for everybody at Anderson Towing for letting us have a close look at the rig. We spec the lighting. Most of what you see here is available on Sirenet, so you can go ahead and check out all the different lighting options. We're going to get a start right at the front of the vehicle, and let's go ahead right now, check it out. The vehicle itself, of course, is a Ford, as the name proudly shows there. This is an F550 Super Duty Ford. Now the, again, different lighting is relevant in different states. So in the state of Oregon and in the state of Washington, it is legal to have red, red and amber, and red and white functional on a tow truck. In other states in the United States, amber is the only color allowed. But again, in Oregon, these colors that you're seeing right now is what's available. You can also, by the way, have their unit all red if you want. So in this case, they have done a combination of colors. These are Whelan M2 series heads, as you can see right now. They happen to be red. Then we have a split set, which has been very nicely put on the chrome bumper area here in the grill. In fact, I should be correct saying. You've got a chrome finish around it. This is a red white. And it really lends itself nicely to the grill. As we move around the vehicle, we'll take a look at the light bar in a minute, but as we move around the vehicle, we've got some Lindsay Sixes, in this case, Amber. And again, moving along the body, we have some M series, which have been mounted. Now again, the flash pattern has been selected by the customer. This is a flash pattern that they particularly want to have a rotating or basically a scan lock cycle that's going on currently. So the flash pattern on these lights is going to continue to change and that's something that they particularly prefer to have happening with their vehicle. This is a Whelan M7 with a chrome flange. Now something interesting that they did here and this is something that Bruce Anderson, who's the owner of Anderson Towing, he took one of the marker lights, which is what this is here, this is a marker light, and that would have normally gone down here in this cutout. And what they did is they dropped in an M2 from Whelan with a black flange that fits nicely in here. And in this case, this is a red amber. Now in the United States, it's a requirement to not have white, with the exception of the fire service, to not have white to the back of a vehicle. So in this case, it's red and amber to the rear, where previously you saw it was actually white and red to the front, and that is legal within the United States. And as I mentioned earlier, these colors are relevant to the states of Oregon and Washington. Now what we have here, this is a sound off. The, obviously the TA here is a sound off ultralight. It's the model EL3D12A. We have put some red LEDs, diodes, as you can see on the ends of this that allow you to have a red and amber combination. So what we have up on this rack, which is above the, uh, the TA that we just saw a moment ago, up on the roof here, this is a Freedom Light Bar, which is specifically set up for a tow truck or a wrecker. Basically, it has a stop turn LEDs and 5 mil mounted in there. That's what's in the red area with the red lenses over it. And then in the clear area, you have a combination of double stack LED modules, linears, with respect to red and amber. And then in the center of the unit itself, there is a set of LED takedown lights which allow illumination to the back of the vehicle. Right now you've got the turn signal flashing in what is a stop turn brake light. And again, by applying your foot on the brake, on will come the actual brake functionality. And again, these lights are set up in such a way that they're an auxiliary to the vehicle's DOT approved braking and turn signaling system. And again, more M series with chrome flanges as we move around the other side of the vehicle. We saw one side, this is the other side. Lindsay sixes, everything is equally balanced out. So really a very, very nice job indeed. One other thing about the actual Freedom Bar, 
We also have a pair of LED alley lights left and right side. In this case, they happen to be flashing white. And we've just gone ahead and turned on the LED alley lights, which of course will steady burn, as well as flash as well as part of the functionality of the Freedom Wrecker Bar. Well, let's step into the cab of this really beautifully set up wrecker truck, tow truck by Anderson Towing here in Oregon. In fact, they're actually headquartered in Aloha, Oregon, by the way. Uh, the radio is going on, so hopefully that's not gonna interfere too much, but I'm gonna show you here the actual controller unit that's controlling all of the lighting. It's a sound off ETA 380R siren light head controller. And basically what you have here, you have position one, position two, and position three. And this just shuts down the lighting. We've got the TA function, basically hold it down and it stops. We also have a air horn built in here as well. And this is, again, a functionality of this particular unit. And again, the other nice feature, of course, is having the three-position slider. You can then activate all the relevant lighting that you need to do by just moving the slider. Well, again, many thanks to Bruce Anderson and all of his gang at Anderson Towing for letting us have a look at this particular rig that they just put into service. And as always, many thanks for watching Sirenet Television. I'm Stuart.